Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look inside Alabama prep athletics. Brought to you by TeamIP.com, AL.com, Encore Rehabilitation, Alpha Insurance, Wilson, South Point Bank, Russell Athletic, and Coca-Cola. Welcome to Inside the AHSAA. I'm your host, Luke Robinson. This week, we'll be taking you through everything going on in the world of Alabama high school athletics. Alabama lost one of its greatest citizens Monday when Bryant Jordan Foundation founder Larry D. Striplin Jr. died after an extended illness. We are tremendously saddened at this news, said Alabama High School Athletic Association Executive Director Steve Savarees. Mr. Striplin has meant so much to the student athletes in our state through his tireless efforts involving the Bryant Jordan program. We are all going to miss him dearly. Mr. Striplin founded the Bryant Jordan Student Athlete Scholarship Program in 1986. Almost $10 million has been distributed to more than 2,200 senior student athletes since the program's inception. The first year, a total of 8,000 was awarded to 48 regional scholar athlete winners. Now, 26 years later, more than $800,000 is awarded annually to the 96 student athletes from across the state. In addition to the 48 regional scholar athlete winners, Striplin's dream of rewarding students who achieve against major obstacles is now in its 23rd year with 48 regional student achievement honorees recognized each year. Larry Striplin has always had a passion for rewarding our young people who excel, said longtime friend Ken Blankenship, who worked hand-in-hand -hand with Striplin as the Bryant Jordan Foundation Director until his retirement in 2010. The program's overall Scholar Athlete of the Year Award is now named the Larry D. Striplin Jr. Award in honor of the program's founder. Larry not only raised millions for the program, but also donated a tremendous amount of his own money to ensure that the Bryant Jordan program would continue long after he was gone, Blankenship added. His legacy will speak of his many unselfish acts of kindness. I can tell you he was proud of the Bryant Jordan program most of all. I'm going to miss him. We're all going to miss him. However, the children of our state, all of us, are better for having known him. Striplin, who was inducted to the AHSA High School Sports Hall of Fame in 2007, was also inducted to the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in 1998 as his distinguished American sportsman. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. With over 40 years of combined experience, SignSource is the premier sign supplier for Central Alabama. From illuminated and monument signs for your business, to banners, car wraps, or political yard signs for the individual, SignSource can do it all. We specialize in designing sign concepts that get results. Contact us today at 256-825-0197 or on the web at SignSourceNow.com. Go straight to the source. Sign source. Undefeated Bob Jones High School, ranked first in the Alabama Sports Writers Association Class 6A State Boys Basketball Ranking, was undefeated at 21-0 and held a slim 54-52 lead with 8.8 .8 seconds remaining last Saturday night against visiting top-ranked 5A Lee of Huntsville. The fans who packed into the Patriots Gymnasium were sitting on edge when the Generals called timeout for one last shot. Huntsville Times sports columnist Bill Bryant said it best in his written account of the game as he compared the final drama to that of the much-beloved movie Hoosiers. He wrote, Bobby Strickland left a timeout knowing he held Lee's immediate future in his hands. The Generals trailed the Patriots by two. Coach Greg Brown wanted them to shoot a three, specifically the precocious Mr. Strickland. At first, Coach drew up a play and everybody was like, looking at it. Strickland would recall later, and then he was like, just forget it. He told me to go get the ball and just go. While not exactly Norman Dale giving Jimmy Chitwood the green light in Hoosiers, it was close enough. Chitwood, of Hickory fame, didn't hit a fadeaway three-pointer with more hands in his face than Santa Claus at the mall during the holidays either, but that's what the point guard, Strickland, managed to pull off. Strickland's swish from the left wing gave Lee a 55-54 victory, and it sent Bob Jones into the locker room with its first loss in 22 games. The point guard finished with a team-high 17 points. Bob Jones coach Danny Petty, who came into the contest with a 628 and 329 career record in his 32nd year as head coach, was gracious in defeat. The only prep coach to win state titles at three different schools simply said, he made a good play. What are you going to say? Brown of Lee is now 17-8, and eight, but with only two losses from winning the state's borders this season. He knew Strickland was the one he wanted in that situation. He never loses confidence no matter how many times I get on his butt, Brown said. We were going for the win, but he did the fadeaway on his own. That's vintage Bobby. The two teams play again this Saturday at 7 p.m. at Lee's Gymnasium. Don't be surprised if fans from Hickory, Indiana make the trip for this one. 
LMG is a marketing group dedicated to designing successful advertising techniques for all of its clients. LMG can handle any promotional project from web design and signage to corporate apparel and media exposure. Contact LMG today through their website at leemarketing.net. LMG, success by design. Congratulations are in order for John Carroll Catholic High School Cross Country Champion Griffin Lee. The 5'10 young man was just recently named the Gatorade Alabama Boys Cross Country Runner of the Year. Lee finished second in the Class 5A competition as a sophomore, but he clocked 16-13.4 in 2011 to win the 5A state title by almost 10 seconds. He won the Gatorade Award over a field that included the 2010-2011 winner and Class 6A champion Brandon Hazuri of Spain Park. Lee, who is the starting point guard on John Carroll's basketball team, carries a 4.3 grade point average, is a member of the Honors Choir and the Spanish Honor Society. His goal for next season is to shave his time in the 3.1 mile cross country championship course to under 16 seconds. Track fans will have a chance this weekend to see the largest gathering of high school track athletes in recent history when more than 2,200 prep competitors from across the southeast gather at the new Crossplex in Birmingham this Friday and Saturday for the Last Chance Invitational Indoor Championships hosted by Smith Stations High School. The meet is the final tune-up for the AHSA State Indoor Meet since 2007 and the first to be run at the beautiful new facility in Birmingham. Check out the meet this weekend and then make sure to get your tickets for the state meet set for February 3rd through the 4th. Thanks so much for being with us this week. Hope to see you next week on Inside the AHSA.